I identify as a transgender person in Arkansas, and I'm here today to speak against SB 270. This bill will open the door to more discrimination towards the appearance of another individual. Not everyone looks the same, and not everyone has the same balance of chemicals in their body that adequately distinguishes them from one gender to the other. I have never taken anything to medically alter the chemical balance in my body. I was assigned female at birth. I have a beard and a deeper voice. And even if I didn't identify as a transgender person, I would still look like this. This bill will essentially allow the general public the power to judge a person like me based solely on their appearance, creating more unsafe spaces for Arkansans. <clears throat> it will also empower the general public to police public spaces themselves based on personal opinion and profiling, which can create even more dangerous situations for Arkansans. I ask that you vote no on this bill. Thank you for your time. Thank you. I apologize for mispronouncing your name. Uh, next, we have Tien Ty Estel. Hello, my name is Tien Estel, and I am the advocacy coordinator for Intransitive. And I'm here to speak against SB 270, clearly. I'm a trans Arkansan who gets harassed in bathrooms regardless of which one I choose to use. And this bill would legitimize and legalize the hostility that myself and other trans people already face in our daily lives anytime we just try to go to the bathroom. I was at a library last year and I needed to use the bathroom. I have renal issues, renal health issues that greatly affect the frequency of my need to use restrooms. But I still I had to stop and I had to deliberate which bathroom would be safest for me as a trans person to use. I'm also a hate crime survivor. I survived attempted murder that was targeted because of my queerness. So I'm really cautious when I'm in public because I have to be. I know what it's like for violence to turn into almost losing my life. So with that caution in mind as well, I try to decide which, which restroom is going to be safest for me. So that day, when I was considering and deliberating my safest option, I decided to go with the bathroom that matches the gender I was assigned at birth, which is what 270 is saying that I should do, right? So I went in, and as soon as I entered... Someone's voice got loud as I rushed into the stall. I tried to block them out and even thought maybe they're not talking to me. But they were. They were yelling at me the whole time I was trying to urinate. I exited the stall and the person said, didn't you hear me telling you to get out of here? And I said, yes, but I was, I was just trying to pee. They said, you don't belong in here. Where am I supposed to go? Where am I supposed to go to the bathroom if I happen to be in public, which I am a lot? So the same day I had to go back to the bathroom and this time I was scared. Visceral fear. I was not in Little Rock in my home city. I was in another city for my job. And again, I was trying to figure out what do I need to do here? I'm terrified. So again, I chose the bathroom that matches the gender I was assigned at birth. This time I didn't get yelled at, but on my way out, three people standing outside of the door, they stopped, they stared me up and down, they looked at the door, they looked at me, they looked at each other, and they started laughing. So I just went back doing what I was supposed to do and uh, wondered if I would have to make this decision again for a third time that day. So if SB 270 passes, the people yelling at me in bathrooms and glaring as I exit will have a right to call the police and have me charged as a sexual predator if a child happens to be in a bathroom. How will this legislature protect me and other trans Arkansans? This bill is bullying. This bill is harassment. SB 270 is wrong on every level, and I implore you to please vote no 
on SB 270. Thank you. Uh, you want to entertain a question? I will. Representative Collins, you're recognized for a question. Thank you, Madam Chair. So, you know, it sounds like a bad situation currently. Right. Would this bill, how would this bill make things worse when you're having to decide which bathroom to go into? I mean, how would it change right. from what it currently is bad yeah. already? Well, because now, if SB 270, if SB 270 passes, the people yelling at me would have the legal right to call police to have me removed from the bathroom. If, say, I'm in the stall, I'm urinating, and I can't get out immediately when someone yells, hey, get out of here. Okay, so that happens. They can call the police. But also, what am I supposed to do at that point? Am I supposed to slide a driver's license that has, like, a gender marker on it that I was assigned at birth underneath the stall door? It increases the fear factor. It increases the legitimacy and the legalities of people bullying me and other trans people in bathrooms and perpetuates the notion that we don't have a right to use public bathrooms. So the fear of you know, having police called on us just for using a public restroom, and then we know how that works out after that. Does that answer your question? Thank you. Thank you for your testimony. Thank today. you. Next, we have Mike Poe. 